Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, honey pies. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Right, follow the follow my leader. Who's turn is it now? Your turn, my angel. Ready to go. Follow my leader, follow my leader. Stephen's turn, that's the way. Okay, follow, follow my leader. <gasps> well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Playing follow my leader, but now Lisa's here will do something new. How about dressing Claude up as a leader, someone who stands out in a crowd, and we can lead ourselves over to the cheers? <laughs> right, Joe, you follow me. Do as I do, if you can. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh you would... <laughs> do you know, it's actually pretty hard being the leader and have everyone follow you. Oh, you can see that again, Raymond. You know, once when I was at Nicholson's department store at Christmas, all the lights went out. I was the only one with a torch. So I had to lead everyone, all the staff and all the customers, out into the street in the dark. Then suddenly the lights come back on. And do you know where I'd led them? Oh, I don't know. Tell me. Straight into Santa's grotto. <laughs> what a scream. <laughs> well, Mr Tidemark, the manager, didn't think so. Oh, no. He was cross. He said, you must always look where you are going. Oops. <laughs> Mind you, that's good advice, yeah, especially if you're the leader. I must remember to tell Tina about that. She's travelling on my train today. She's on her way to Helensbridge to take her advanced taxi driver exam. Oh, how exciting. Mm. Is it very difficult? Oh, it is, but Tina will be fine. She's amazing. Mm. <laughs> she has to know exactly where she is the whole time, looking and seeing what's behind and in front. Well, I know what's in front of me. A very peculiar looking plot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Claude, you look... Potty. <laughs> In a word? <laughs> yes. I love your sunflower in your hat. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh. This is for you, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Lise. Claude's hat. Oh, yes. And you can be a leader too now, Raymond. Oh, you're right there, Granny Murray. Right, will you be a good girl for Granny Murray? I'll see you later. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> now, remember... Always look where you're going. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! Okay, left, to the station. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, taxi. Hello, tank. Hello, trolley. Hello, plank. Hello, lorry. Hello, bank. I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Up. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Great. I've arrived. So what next? 
Aha, yes. I have to change out of these clothes and put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> right, nine o'clock. Oh, I hope Tina managed to catch the train. We're just about to leave. And we're off. <laughs> Where's Tina got to? Oh, there you are, love. Have you checked your rear view mirror? Don't forget to look in front before you drive off. Oh, there's no time for jokes, Raymond. A small boy has tripped up whilst running for the train and injured himself. He's in the next carriage. Well, what will I do? Oh, dear. Well, the first thing I'll do is see if there's a doctor on board the train. If there's a doctor on board, could you please report to Raymond in the buffy car? Thank you. Right, um, I'll get the first aid kit. Uh, I've got it. Right. Now, um, What's happened? Oh, there's a small boy injured himself next door, Dr. Juno. Lead the way to him. Oh. Whew, that was lucky. Oh, I wonder how my little ray of sunshine's getting on. Look straight ahead. Well done, Lise. Hold on tight. Woo! Down the shit she goes. Clever girls, that's the way. Hold on tight. That's a good girl. Your turn, Molly. Woohoo! That's my girls. If your dad can see you now, Lisa. Are you having fun, Daddy? Raymond? Can I borrow your first aid kit, please? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, go oh, here. Is the little boy going to be OK? Oh, not too bad. More shock than anything else. But I need a bandage. A bandage? All right. Haven't you got one in your first aid kit? No, in fact, I'm on my way to Helen's Bridge to get new supplies. Look. Oh, well, here. <laughs> That's just what I need. Thanks, Raymond. Oh, glad to be of service. <laughs> right. After that little emergency, it's time I got on with some hard work. I love my train. Our oh, rushes through the lines, pushes things too far and wide. Wheels go round and round the tracks, drive the edge of their backs. I'm so happy being me, doing all the things I love to do. Chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Take this time, they're looking fine Signal, go, I'll be on time Carriage is rolling from behind Don't go one by one in line I'm so happy being me Meeting all the people on the train I help and clear your things If there is a problem I'll explain Oh I talk, talk, talk all day Wheeling trolleys weaving to this way I'll do a trick and make the journey quick Oh I walk, walk, walk each way Loving all the things I do each day Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train We're making really good time today. Ooh. Is your arm feeling a bit better now, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, brave boy. <laughs> well, it's lucky we had you in the train, Dr Juno. No, it's just as well Raymond had a fully stocked first aid kit. You can always rely on me, Dr Juno. And you'll remember not to rush for the train next time, eh? Yes. And to look where you're going. Yes. Oh, thank you, Will. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> so, Cup of tea, Dr. Juno? Yes, please. <laughs> M, 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 M. And you too, my love. No, oh, go on then. <laughs> so, where are you off to now then, Tina? Oh, well, I'm off to sit my advanced taxi driver exam. Wow, that sounds very important. What does it involve? Oh, all sorts. I've got to know all the street names, uh, emergency stops. Really? Mm, signalling correctly and keeping to the speed limit. Oh, you'll pass with flying colours, my angel. <laughs> well, I will, if I remember to look ahead 
and behind him, because mm. that's very important. Oh, I'm sure it is. Why don't you come over and we'll talk some more? Okay. <laughs> well, then you've got to let us change here. I hope the sun is shining where you are, Lisa. <laughs> I love to You're the leader. Now look straight ahead, my girls. Be careful. That's it. Ooh, watch your head, Lisa. That says, oh my stars. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, Lisa. Your dad would love to see you now. Where are you, Daddy? Hope you're having fun, Lise. Ooh, we're arriving at Helen's Bridge. Bang on time. <laughs> oh, well, I'm off to sit my exam now, Raymond. Oh, good luck, love. You'll be great. Just remember to always keep looking ahead, but always checking what's behind you. Oh, Raymond, we're not in Panto now. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Juno. Bye, Tina. Oh, hey, you. You are right now? Yeah. Oh, good. Don't forget to change his bandages this evening, Dad. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, shouldn't you be getting off here too, Dr. Juno? Me? Oh, yes. Oh, in all the excitement, I forgot why I came to Helen's Bridge. Right, I need some supplies for my first aid kit. Oh, it's just here. There you go. Thanks, Raymond. <laughs> See you on the way back. Bye. Oh, hang on. Oh, I hope I gave Dr. Juno the right first aid kit. Oh, no. I've given her my first aid kit by mistake. Dr. Juno? Oh, ah, I've grazed my arm. Oh, now this will need first aid. But the first aid kit is empty. Oh, and we won't have any first aid for the return trip. Oh, no. I've grazed my arm, and Dr. Juno is now somewhere in Helensbridge with the train's first aid kit. How did I get myself in such a muddle? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's house. The children were playing Follow My Leader. At nine o'clock, I got to work. Tina was on the train too. She was on her way to take her advanced taxi driver exam. But she'd found a little boy in the next carriage who'd hurt his arm and needed first aid. Luckily, Dr. Juno was on board and came to the rescue. At 10 o'clock, Dr. Juno asked to use my first aid kit because hers was nearly empty. Then at one o'clock, we arrived at Helen's Bridge. Tina got off to do her driving exam and I told her to keep checking behind and in front. Dr. Juno asked for her first aid kit and went off to buy some fresh supplies for it in town. But I gave her my first aid kit by mistake. I chased after her, but I lost her when I bumped my arm. Now all I've got here is Dr. Juno's empty first aid kit. What am I going to do? Now remember, always look where you're going. Well, I obviously wasn't looking where I was going when I bumped my arm. And now there's only one place to look for the chemist in Helensbridge, to get a bandage for my arm. And if I look where I'm going, I should also find Dr. Juno. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's gonna start it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song So that's one full first aid kit safely returned to the buffy car Oh, and we're off <laughs> Hello Raimondo Watcha Rudy, what can I get you? Well, what you got mate? Oh, well, I've got um, bandages Plasters, antiseptic cream, uh, cold spray. Raymond, if, if, if it's all the same with you, I think I'll just stick with a cheese toasty. I am hungry. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> I've got first aid kits on the brain today. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Um, maybe after I try one of your cheese toasties, <laughs> I might just need a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, the cheek. <laughs> Sorry, Rudy. One cheese toasty coming right up. Oh. 
I wonder what you're up to, Sunbeam. Well, Mr. Honey, if you want to go home in time for tea. What time, Granny, Mary? Quite right, Melissa. We'll have to watch these cobbles. They can be slippy. We don't want to fall. And I'm sure we'll still be in plenty of time for Dad. <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. Come on, Lisa, it's your dad. Hiya, Daddy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Have you had a great day with Granny Murray? Oh, yeah. we certainly did, didn't we, darling? Thank you. Oh, oh. my wee angel. <laughs> And it's a big thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always look where you're going. It saved the day. Oh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Come on now, let's get you two home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing Granny special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the leader of a crowd because we were all having fun playing follow my leader. Then I took the children to a fantastic adventure playground. I showed them how to use all the equipment and they followed my lead. It was such fun. Lisa took a turn at being the leader. She was great on the climbing frame. She always watched where she was going so it was really safe. Raymond learned to always look where he was going too, but I forgot to look ahead on the way home across the slippery cobbles. Luckily, Lisa was there to remind me that you should always look where you're going. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to see you.